It's the magic of math here, and today we're talking percent of decrease as we consider 30% less and how to write that algebraically. Here's our math question today. Last year, a group received D dollars in donations. This year, the group received 30% less money in donations than it received last year. Which expressions can be used to represent the total amount of money in dollars the group received in donations this year? And we're asked to select the two correct expressions. So we have these five expressions to pick from, and we're going to pick two that represent this real-world situation. Here's where you pause the video, do your best work, and then come back to see mine. Good luck. Welcome back. We're going to begin by understanding we're defining which expressions represent this year, and we're picking two. So let's go back to the information given. We have last year, a group received D dollars. So making notes, we have last year, and we got D dollars. So D as the variable represents how much money they received last year in donations. Then we have this year. And we know that this year they received 30% less. So this year, 30% less. Last year, D. This year, 30% less. 30% less than what? If we look up here, it says less than it received last year. So 30% less of D. They received 30% less of the amount from last year. Now, Let's go and rewrite this so that we can have an algebraic expression. So let's bring down our D. We know that that represents last year. When we look at 30% less, we know that less means we're going to take away. We're going to subtract 30%. When we talk about 30% in math and we're going to do something computation with it, we need to convert the percent to a decimal or to a fraction. I'm going to put it in a decimal form. So when we eliminate the percent sign, we're moving the De invisible decimal point from here, two spaces to the left, and that becomes 0 0.30, 30% or 30 hundredths. All right, so this is 30% less of D. So we're finding 30% of, we multiply by D. So remember an invisible multiplication sign here. So 0 0.30 D being subtracted from D means 30% less of D. So I have my whole and I'm subtracting 30% of that amount from last year. So if I look over at my answer choices, I can see that that is C, D subtract 0 0.30 D. Now if I consider these other expressions that have subtract in them, I can see that D is incorrect. They converted 30% to 3% instead of 30. So I'm gonna eliminate D, it can't be that. And then here, they subtracted D from just 30%. So there's no 30% of D, and they subtracted the wrong way. That, and subtraction is not commutative. So I can eliminate E. So that means of my two that I'm picking from, I only have two answer choices left. I can see that there is one term here. And when I look at my expression, I have like terms because both terms have a variable D. So let's combine our like terms and see if it matches A or B. Remember, D in algebra, there's an invisible one. This is 1D subtract 0.30D. 1 subtract 0 0.3 is 0 0.7 or 70D. So if I have a whole and I subtract 3 tenths or 0 0.30, I get 0 0.70. Think of it as a dollar, take away 30 cents, I have 70 cents left. So that keeping our variable, we have 0.70D, which is answer choice A. So I know that my two correct expressions that represent 30% less of the amount from last year is going to be A and C, 70% of the whole, or take our whole and subtract 30%. And there you have it. That is how you write percent of decrease, 30% less, algebraically. Thanks for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. Thanks for joining me today, and I hope you come back soon.